Hello friends. This video has been made keeping in mind the cooling tower interview. That's why watch this video till the last and if you have got information about this video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now watch the video till the end. Here are 40 short questions and answers related to cooling tower chemical dosing. Question. What is cooling tower chemical dosing? Answer. It is the process of adding chemicals to the cooling water to maintain performance and prevent issues. Question. Why is chemical dosing important in cooling towers? Answer. It helps control microbial growth, prevent corrosion, and inhibit scale formation. Question. What chemicals are commonly used in cooling tower dosing? Answer. Biocides, corrosion inhibitors, scale inhibitors, dispersants, and pH adjusters. Question. How often should chemicals be dosed in a cooling tower? Answer. Chemical dosing is typically performed continuously or at regular intervals. Question. What is the purpose of biocides in cooling tower chemical dosing? Answer. Biocides control the growth of bacteria, algae, and fungi in the cooling water. Question. Why are corrosion inhibitors added to cooling water? Answer. Corrosion inhibitors protect metal surfaces from corrosion. Question. How do scale inhibitors work? Answer. They prevent the formation of mineral deposits, such as calcium carbonate. Question. What is the role of dispersants in cooling tower chemical dosing? Answer. Dispersants help break down and disperse solid particles in the water. Question. How are chemicals typically dosed into the cooling water? Answer. Chemicals can be dosed manually or automatically using dosing pumps or systems. Question. What factors determine the dosing rate of chemicals in a cooling tower? Answer. Water quality, system design, cooling load, and manufacturer recommendations. Question. Can chemical overdosing be harmful? Answer. Yes, it can lead to increased costs, environmental issues, or damage to the system. Question. What safety precautions should be taken when handling cooling tower chemicals? Answer. Follow proper handling procedures and wear personal protective equipment. Question. How can chemical dosing improve energy efficiency in cooling towers? Answer. It helps maintain clean heat transfer surfaces, optimizing heat exchange. Question. Are there any environmental considerations when using cooling tower chemicals? Answer. Choose environmentally friendly chemicals and follow local regulations. Question. What are the consequences of poor chemical dosing in cooling towers? Answer. Reduced efficiency, increased energy consumption, equipment failure, and microbial contamination. Question. How can the effectiveness of chemical dosing be monitored? Answer. Monitoring pH, conductivity, corrosion rates, and microbial counts. Question. Can chemical dosing eliminate the need for regular maintenance and cleaning? Answer. No, it complements maintenance practices but doesn't eliminate cleaning needs. Question. Are there alternatives to traditional chemical dosing methods? Answer. Yes, physical water treatment or biological control methods are alternatives. Question. What is the role of pH adjustment in cooling tower chemical dosing? Answer. It helps maintain the desired pH level for chemical effectiveness and corrosion control. Question. Can chemical dosing be customized for different cooling tower systems? Answer. Yes, it should be tailored to the specific requirements of each system. Question. How can fouling in cooling towers be controlled? Answer. Proper chemical dosing, regular cleaning, and monitoring can help control fouling. Question. What is the purpose of a biocide residual test? Answer. It helps ensure the presence of an effective biocide concentration in the cooling water. Question. What are the benefits of using non-oxidizing biocides? Answer. Non-oxidizing biocides can provide longer-lasting microbial control in the water. Question. How do corrosion inhibitors prevent metal corrosion? Answer. They form a protective layer on metal surfaces, Inhibiting the corrosive action of water. Question. What are the consequences of scaling in cooling towers? Answer. Scaling reduces heat transfer efficiency, increases energy consumption, and can lead to equipment failure. Question. 
What is the purpose of using a dispersant in cooling tower chemical dosing? Answer. Dispersants prevent the accumulation of solid particles, reducing fouling and blockages. Question. How does pH affect chemical dosing effectiveness? Answer. pH influences the solubility and efficacy of chemicals used in cooling tower dosing. Question. Can chemical dosing help reduce water consumption in cooling towers? Answer. Chemical dosing alone does not directly reduce water consumption but can improve system efficiency, indirectly saving water. Question. How can microbial growth in cooling towers be controlled? Answer. Biocides are used to control microbial growth and prevent biofouling. Question. What are the consequences of microbiological contamination in cooling towers? Answer. It can lead to health risks, equipment damage, reduced efficiency, and unpleasant odors. Question. How can chemical dosing help extend the lifespan of cooling tower components? Answer. By preventing corrosion and scaling, it reduces the wear and tear on system components. Question. Can chemical dosing be automated in cooling towers? Answer. Yes, automated dosing systems can ensure accurate and consistent chemical dosing. Question. Is it necessary to adjust chemical dosing during different seasons? Answer. Yes, factors like temperature and microbial activity may require adjustments to chemical dosing rates. Question. How can the effectiveness of scale inhibitors be evaluated? Answer. Monitoring for the presence of scaling and conducting periodic water analysis can assess scale inhibitor effectiveness. Question. Are there any safety risks associated with cooling tower chemical dosing? Answer. Improper handling or exposure to chemicals can pose health and safety risks. Question. Can chemical dosing improve the overall lifespan of a cooling tower system? Answer. Yes, by maintaining proper water treatment, it can contribute to the longevity of the system. Question. Are there any restrictions on the types of chemicals that can be used in cooling tower dosing? Answer. Local regulations may impose restrictions on certain chemicals for environmental and safety reasons. Question. How can chemical dosing impact water discharge from cooling towers? Answer. Proper dosing helps control water quality, ensuring discharge compliance with environmental standards. Question. Can chemical dosing prevent all types of fouling in cooling towers? Answer. While it can prevent most types of fouling, some forms may require additional treatment methods. Question. How can the effectiveness of chemical dosing be optimized? Answer. Regular water analysis, system inspections, and adjustments to dosing rates can optimize effectiveness. Please note that these answers provide a general overview, and specific details may.